Numbers chapter 28 The Lord said to Moses, Give this command to the Israelites, and say to them, Make sure that you present to me at the appointed time my food offerings as an aroma pleasing to me. Say to them, This is the food offering you are to present to the Lord. Two lambs a year old without defect as a regular burnt offering each day. Offer one lamb in the morning and the other at twilight, together with a grain offering of a tenth of an ephah of the finest flour, mixed with a quarter of a hin of oil from pressed olives. This is the regular burnt offering, instituted at Mount Sinai as a pleasing aroma, a food offering presented to the Lord. The accompanying drink offering is to be a quarter of a hin of fermented drink with each lamb, Pour out the drink offering to the Lord at the sanctuary. Offer the second lamb at twilight, along with the same kind of grain offering and drink offering that you offer in the morning. This is a food offering, an aroma pleasing to the Lord. On the Sabbath day, make an offering of two lambs a year old without defect, together with its drink offering and a grain offering of one-fifth of an ephah of the finest flour mixed with olive oil. This is the burnt offering for every Sabbath, in addition to the regular burnt offering and its drink offering. On the first of every month, present to the Lord a burnt offering of two young bulls, one ram, and seven male lambs a year old, all without defect. With each bull there is to be a grain offering, of three-tenths of an ephah of the finest flour mixed with oil. With the ram, a grain offering of one-fifth of an ephah of the finest flour mixed with oil. And with each lamb, a grain offering of a tenth of an ephah of the finest flour mixed with oil. This is for a burnt offering, a pleasing aroma, a food offering presented to the Lord. With each bull, there is to be a drink offering of half a hin of wine, with a ram a third of a hin, and with each lamb a quarter of a hin. This is the monthly burnt offering to be made at each new moon during the year. Besides the regular burnt offering with its drink offering, one male goat is to be presented to the Lord as a sin offering. On the fourteenth day of the first month, the Lord's Passover is to be held. On the fifteenth day of this month, there is to be a festival. For seven days eat bread made without yeast. On the first day hold a sacred assembly, and do not do any of your ordinary work. Present to the Lord a food offering consisting of a burnt offering of two young bulls, one ram, and seven male lambs a year old, all without defect. With each bull, Offer a grain offering of three-tenths of an ephah of the finest flour mixed with oil, with the ram one-fifth, and with each of the seven lambs one-tenth. Include one male goat as a sin offering to make atonement for you. Offer these in addition to the regular morning burnt offerings. In this way, Present the food offering every day for seven days as an aroma pleasing to the Lord. It is to be offered in addition to the regular burnt offering and its drink offering. On the seventh day, hold a sacred assembly and do not do any ordinary work. On the day of first fruits, when you present to the Lord an offering of new grain during the festival of weeks, hold a sacred assembly and do not do any of your ordinary work. Present a burnt offering of two young bulls, one ram, and seven male lambs a year old as an aroma pleasing to the Lord. With each bull there is to be a grain offering of three-tenths of an ephah of the finest flour mixed with oil, with the ram one-fifth, and with each of the seven lambs one-tenth. Include one male goat to make atonement for you. Offer these together with their drink offerings, in addition to the regular burnt offering and its grain offering. Be sure the animals are without defect. Psalm 72 
Endow the king with your justice, O God, the royal son with your righteousness. May he judge your people in righteousness, your afflicted ones with justice. May the mountains bring prosperity to the people, the hills the fruit of righteousness. May he defend the afflicted among the people and save the children of the needy. May he crush the oppressor. May he endure as long as the sun, as long as the moon through all generations. May he be like rain falling on a mown field, like showers watering the earth. In his days may the righteous flourish and prosperity abound till the moon is no more. May he rule from sea to sea and from the river to the ends of the earth. May the desert tribes bow before him and his enemies lick the dust. May the kings of Tarshish and of distant shores bring tribute to him. May the kings of Sheba and Seba present him gifts. May all kings bow down to him and all nations serve him. For he will deliver the needy who cry out, the afflicted who have no one to help. He will take pity on the weak and the needy and save the needy from death. He will rescue them from oppression and violence, for precious is their blood in his sight. Long may he live. May gold from Sheba be given him. May people ever pray for him and bless him all day long. May corn abound throughout the land. On the top of the hills may it sway. May the crops flourish like Lebanon and thrive like the grass of the field. May his name endure forever. May it continue as long as the sun. Then all nations will be blessed through him and they will call him blessed. Praise be to the Lord God, the God of Israel, who alone does marvellous deeds. Praise be to his glorious name for ever. May the whole earth be filled with his glory. Amen and Amen. This concludes the prayers of David, son of Jesse.